To see here on Fox 19 now, a six month old girl is waiting for a heart transplant. Our Alexis Martin tells us her story now at five. From the station that's always local, always now. This is Fox 19 now. New at five amended court documents are shedding some new light on the moments leading up to the deaths of three young boys in Claremont County. Yeah, their father Chad Dorman is accused of killing them last June. Thanks for joining us. I'm Megan O'Rourke and I'm Trisha Mackey. So Brittany Harry is live in Batavia after reading through those documents. Uh, what'd you what'd you learn that was new? Well, yeah, so Trisha and Megan, this is a story that we've been following really since the beginning and new details are coming out in those court documents that you mentioned. So essentially what it is is uh, some changes that were made to existing court documents and those changes really kind of lay out some of what uh, we are told happened before Chad Dorman allegedly murdered his three sons last year. And I did speak to our legal analyst about this, and he says that uh, these changes are not an uncommon move that sometimes prosecutors make. I think the prosecution is being very meticulous and doing a good job of covering all the bases. The documents allege Chad Dorman returned home from work early on June 15th, 2023. According to those documents, after being there for a while, he got a Bible and while walking around with it mumbled, quote, Chad knows what's right. The document state Dorman then got into the gun safe in the master bedroom of the Monroe Township home. That's when someone in the home said that he was scaring her. She didn't like what he was doing and that she was going to call his parents. Dorman responded, according to court documents, saying that he was, quote, just kidding and playing around. The documents allege Dorman laid in the bedroom and due to his behavior, someone in the home didn't want him to be alone. So she and another person stayed in the room with him. That's when documents say Dorman got out of bed and into the gun safe where he removed a gun and loaded magazine and started firing. That's when 911 was called. While the case is going on, they have a duty to supplement the bill of particulars or with more facts. And that's very important because at the trial, if the prosecutor doesn't stick with sort of the the outline through the bill of particulars, it can cause a problem for the prosecutor. The amended court documents also show Dorman, quote, made various statements to law enforcement while on scene and at the jail, including but not limited to, quote, I did it, take me to jail. The documents also say Dorman's actions were done with prior calculation and design. It looks like they're trying to make sure they can prove prior calculation and design on the murder, like the planning that you need for an aggravated murder. So it looks like they're trying to make sure They've covered their bases, the prosecution, because without an aggravated murder, there is no possible death penalty, which is what the prosecutor wants. So last month, Dorman entered a plea of not guilty or, or and not guilty by reason of insanity. So he remains in the Claremont County Jail right now on aggravated murder, felonious assault and kidnapping charges. He actually has another mental evaluation that's scheduled for June and his trial is set to begin in July. For now, I'm reporting live in Batavia, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now. Thank you, Brittany. It is day two of the NFL.